Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. So we haven't done a tutorial for a while. I apologize, but we've been very busy behind the scenes working on a big launch and that will be coming out soon. So keep your eyes open. I'll have more details, but let's do a little tutorial. So we're going to do, it's kind of like a knitting on reveal and we're going to be using vertex maps and having a nice reveal on this model. Huge shout out to Alessandro Bancho for coming up with this technique, by the way. So we're going to work on the top part of this soccer boot or football boot, depending on where you're from. So we're going to type in vertex map and we're going to put a vertex tag on this and let's click use fields and that will open up our fields on this vertex tag. Let's delete the freeze. Let's twirl down right here and add a spherical field. So this is where we're going to kick off our animation and the growing on effect. We'll put it right on the toe here, make it a little bit smaller. All right, so now we're gonna to go to this white drop down, and we're going to add a freeze and let's put it on the bottom. Let's take that spherical field and we'll change that to add. And on that freeze under mode, we're gonna change it to grow and maybe change the radius so it's a bit smaller, like 0.5. All right, let's hit play and see what happens. So we are having this growing on effect, which is a good start, but we want it to be a bit more organic. We're gonna do that by adding a shader field. And that shader field can be changed the transfer mode to overlay. And in that shader field, we're gonna break this pattern up with some noise. So we'll go to shader on that twirl up, we'll go to noise and we're gonna use the fire type. So we'll go to fire and we'll change the global scale maybe to 200 some. And that'll give us a nice organic edge here, which is a bit more broken up. All right, so the second thing we want to do is make it so that this boot reveals with this vertex map. And we're going to do that right in the texture. So we're using Octane, but you can do this with other render engines as well. In Octane, there is something called a vertex map. So if we just type that in, it's a vertex map. And what we can do is in this vertex slot, we'll just drag that one that we just made, we'll drag it in here, and then we're going to pipe this into the opacity. So then it is gonna use that vertex map to drive the opacity. So wherever it's yellow, it will you'll be able to see it and wherever it's red, you won't. And you can't see it in your viewer unless you fire up Octane. So we'll just fire up Octane. And now you can see that it is slowly revealing on that boot. All right, so that is step one. And now we wanna have sort of a stitching effect on the edge here. All right, so we're gonna do that by scattering a torus. So let's go ahead and add a torus to our scene. And we're gonna make it very small. So the ring radius will be 0.1 and the pipe radius even smaller, 0.01. So it's very tiny. And we're going to use a octane scatter. So octane scatter, if you're using a different render engine, you can use the uh, Cinema 40 cloner as well. But we're gonna use octane scatter because it's pretty great. So we'll put the torus in the octane scatter. We're gonna change the type to surface and we wanna scatter them onto the boot. So we'll put the shoe right here and we're gonna increase the count quite a bit. And we are definitely scattering on here, but the torus is laying the wrong direction. So we need to go to orientation and change it to minus X. So it's pointing out. And if we zoom in here, you can kind of start to get the idea of what we're going for, like a bit of a stitching effect here. All right, so we will want to add a random effector. So we'll go to the octane scatter under the effectors and make sure the random effector is in here. And we're gonna to go to parameters and we're not gonna do position, we'll just do scale. And under scale, we're just gonna do the Y so that it has a bit of variation in the Y. It's probably a little bit much, maybe 1.5. So we've got our stitching effect, but we want it to be um, just isolated to that vertex map. And we can do that very easily in the octane scatter by going to the distribution tab under vertex map. We'll drag that vertex map. Now we're getting somewhere, this is kind of what we want. Um, but the thing is we want it to have sort of a leading edge that's stitching on, but then we want the base to be revealing the shoe. So it kind of have that trailing effect of revealing the shoe. And we're gonna do that by messing with this, um, this vertex tag a little bit. So the way that we've found to do this is actually to duplicate the tag. I'm sure there's another way, but this seemed to be the best way we could find. So we're gonna hit control and drag it. That will make a copy. Then drag it to the left of the original one. So this is the new one. What we're gonna to wanna to do is click on everything in here and delete it, but then drag the original vertex tag into here and let go. That way it's going to reference the original, but on top of it, we're going to add one more effect, which will be a curve. All right, so we are gonna crunch this vertex map down using the curve. And if we hit control click, we can make another knot in the middle here. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is really crunch this down. And as I pull this one over, you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing here. You can see that I'm kind of pinching in 
the entire uh, right side of that boot and I'm just crushing it so all we have is that leading edge here. Now one thing to make sure of is that this knot is not sort of floating up but it's all the way down to zero. That has to be all the way down. And then from here we can maybe make it a little bit to the left. Let's hit play and see what that looks like. Now you can see that we have just this this kind of a line like a laser going across the boot. And we're gonna want to update the octane scatter so it is putting those stitches right on this laser beam right here. That way it'll look like it's kind of growing on and revealing the toe. So we'll go to that octane scatter and turn it on. And then we're going to update that vertex map to the new one, which is on the left here. We'll put on that new one. All right, so I'll fire up a render here and we'll see what this looks like. And now you can see that we sort of have this stitching on type effect, but it's revealing the boot behind it and disappearing. And if you work on your lighting and your textures a little bit better and spend some more time on it, you're going to get something that looks like a stitching effect and it'll be stitching on, which is really cool. All right, so that's the effect. And by the way, if you want to support our site, we have a bunch of great Octane products that Alessandro has made for us, including Octane Lighting Essentials, which has professional lighting studios for Octane. And we also have nine different Octane texture packs, which are really great. So check those out. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.